Today I want to show you guys my Harry Potter inspired bedroom. Now, ever since I was a kid, I've loved how the Gryffindor common room was just so warm and cozy. So when it came to decorating my room, I wanted just that. This has actually been a work in progress for many years, like from art I've collected, to decorations I've found, to things I've thrifted. So right here is my reading nook area, which I have just jam-packed with decorations. Having an area to just like relax and read was so huge for me when putting this together. On the opposite side, I have the Lady and the Unicorn tapestry that's in the Gryffindor common room. I think I've also come to the realization that I just have an immense amount of knickknacks. Like, dusting this place actually takes forever. Now, going around the room more, I have this wand jewelry stand, these snake bookends that I just mwah, love. I recently got these wing key string lights and, uh, let's just pretend my bed always looks this good. <laughs> now, my goal with this room was for it to be Harry Potter themed, but in a way where it still looked like it belonged in that world. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you think of my Harry Potter room? When they entered the Gryffindor common room, it exploded with cheers and yells. There were mountains of cakes and flagons of pumpkin juice and butterbeer on every surface. Lee Jordan had let off some filibusters fireworks so that the air was thick with stars and sparks. Harry! Hold on! Take my hand! I'm trying! Your hands all sweaty! I think we found the train. Professor, is this all real? Or is it just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why should that mean that it's not real? Put a price on emotion Looking for something to buy Voldemort, Voldemort, ooh, Voldy, 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 Voldemort. It's not even the fact that he's dancing around the manor provocatively Lucius in front of our child, who, by the way, is traumatised, go and have a conversation with him. It's not even the fact that I'm pretty sure my sister is doing the exact same thing in a different room. It is the fact that that is the third pair of tights he has borrowed without asking, and also the third pair of tights he has broken! Hey, do you know where any of the phone chargers are? Oh, I got rid of them. Why? Because I can do this now. Wow. Be proud of me. This took like forever to master. I'm sure it did. Our next utilities bill is going to be dirt cheap. Hold out your phone. Just hold out your phone. You're left on that plan. Well, look on the bright side. Now you really don't need a phone charger. Alan's beard. You must be Harry Potter. Yes, sir. Great, great pleasure. Pleasure to meet you too, sir. Why are they all standing around that manky old boot? It isn't just any manky old boot, mate. It's a port key. What's a port key? Ready? After three. One. Two. Harry. Three! Ah! 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 Let go! <laughs>
kids. What? Let go. Ah. Ah. I bet that cleared your sinuses, hey? The heavily requested Harry Potter impressions. Oh, Harry. If you die down there, you're welcome to share my toilet. <laughs> oh, thank you for that assessment, Mr. Weasley. Perhaps it would be more useful if I transfigured Mr. Potter and yourself into a pocket watch. That way, one of you might be on time. I'm half and half. My dad's a muggle. Mum's a witch. Oh, my dear boy. My dear. You have the grim. Oh, my mother and father were so proud. I was the only one to see her for what she was. Oh, frick. No, dear boy. I tried to kill you. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Curious. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either one of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. Oh, sorry about that. There's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. Last car was in my name. I was going to give this one a miss, not because it's beyond my capability, I am the dance teacher extraordinaire, but because this class is not exactly advanced. However, perhaps the Weasley twins have enough flair and determination to pull it off, so here we go. We are going to speed run through the steps, so it's hip, hip, muscle, muscle, arm, arm, nod, then it's a booty shake, shoulder, shoulder, I'm up, look, made you look. Now, when you do the wave, you have to make sure that your wizard flapper doesn't hit you in the face, all right? So you wave, wave, hip, hip, fan your face, wash your hair, then you do this round the corners, right? That's it, done it. Stop, made you look, and then it's the booty thing, all right? And, of course, the most important step, sunglasses. Up. I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis Vuitton. But even with nothing on, that I made you look, I made you look. Yeah, I look good in my Versace dress, but I'm harder when my morning hair's a mess. Cause even with my hoodie on, that I made you look, I made you look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And with that, the 2022 season comes to an end. Good night.